Well, if you would have blinked, you probably would have missed it. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, another under the radar U.S. Mint release back on August 23rd has not only sold out in another record fashion time frame, but they're selling for a lot more money profit wise for all the flippers out there that this is like a flippers wet dream okay no pun intended whatsoever i'm talking about the 2016 american liberty silver medal all right if you've seen this design before then yes you probably have this was also crafted in gold last year okay and uh it's a beautiful design I, I think I, I'm in love with the reverse design more than I am the obverse. Um, strictly because the reverse reminds me of the St. Gotten's $20 double eagle gold coin. You have the heraldic eagle on the reverse in flight and it's amazing. So someone did a really good job of uh, actually putting together the design for the reverse of the coin. The obverse pretty nice but you know it, it, as far as lady liberty goes i probably would have crafted or designed a a different allegorical figure for the obverse but with that being said the 2016 american liberty silver medal that was released a couple days ago sold out in six minutes okay it became available in six minutes pretty much sold out okay let's just say it's sold out no more can be found so why exactly was this under the radar? Nobody talked about it, okay? Uh, forum chat pages, there might have been one or two conversations about the coin. Me personally, I wasn't, I wasn't available, nor could I have went online to purchase, you know, my household limit on these, which was two uh, per mint mark, I believe. Uh, so they, they made a West Point version and a San Francisco version, both the same coin, only the mint marks different. Um, issue price was thirty four ninety five. Uh, they, these were struck on silver American Eagle blanks, so they're they're the same size, same weight as a silver American Eagle. Okay, it's something different. I think the gold was pretty good. Okay, they sold out of those pretty uh, too. Um, uh, pretty steadfast um, I, I think people just wanting a lady liberty coin to come back that speaks truly of the American heritage is what played a role in this the mintage also played a role in each of the West Point and San Francisco minted medals okay they talk about these being called medals and not so much coins the mintage figure was only 12500 for each mint mark, and uh, the household limit was two, which is nice. In comparison to the upcoming, um, uh, what is it, the Standing Liberty Quarter Gold coin that will be out here in about two weeks. I believe September 8th is what I hear, uh, where there's 100,000 of those being produced. And a household limit of one. That's truly madness. I, I don't know how anyone could make any money off of those, given the uh, the recent. Uh, I don't know if it's success, but uh, the recent run in the um, uh, Mercury Dime Gold Coin, uh, where it was good, it wasn't great as far as a flippers um, profit standpoint. So. Beautiful set right here, inexpensive, low mintage figures, $34.95 original price if you want if you wanted in, if you were lucky enough to get your internet working to buy a few. Um, what are these selling for? Well, they, they're they're going for about four times the issue price. I've seen them anywhere between like $130 to as high like a to as high as about $160, $170, which is huge. That's a huge profit margin. Four count cases of these coming directly to the men are selling between 540 up to 600. I think there were a couple pre-sales that have hit that $700 meniscus as far as um, the the money is concerned. But 
yeah, it's a truly incredible um, uh, opportunity uh, that uh, that would have been missed. It, it would have been easily missed by a lot of uh, collectors. Okay, it's not so much easily missed by the speculators and flippers um, because you know low mintage limit and low issue price. It, it's just. Yeah, yeah, you're going to be talking about instant sellout when you combine those two ingredients together. So, uh, remember the gold coin that this was modeled after? Here's what the obverse of the coin looked like in gold. Of course, what you just saw was actual presentation with the, uh, the presentation case and the coins, the obverse and the reverse, in case you haven't seen it. Um, incredibly beautiful coin in gold. Okay, but it's expensive. You know, it's it's just like anything that's gold nowadays. Um, they're selling for above spot, obviously. I, I've seen these almost as high as like two grand sold uh, when they're slabbed and they have a mid state seventy or whatever. Yeah, they're expensive. Here's a reverse of the coin in gold. Uh, this is. Um, the best part of the coin, in my estimation, it looks equally stunning in the silver from what I've seen in the pro promotional photos for um, the silver 2016. So there you have it. Um, yeah, a truly missed opportunity by a lot. The ones that were able to take advantage of it and do the pre-sales on, online uh, have made quite a bit of money. And then there are these scant few that have actually bought these, you know, for what they are to collect with. Uh, so again, thanks for watching Blue Ridge Silverhound, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.